Yesterday we celebrated Pentecost, the birthday of the church, the Holy Spirit coming down from heaven and filling all those in the upper room. The upper room, by the way, is the same room where Jesus celebrated the Last Supper. We read about who was there in the upper room in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1. The apostles were there, of course. And then the scripture says, All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. Today's feast reminds us that Mary was there. Of course Mary was there. She was obviously present at the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem, and there she is, present now at the birth of the church. Today, the day after Pentecost, we celebrate a new feast that Pope Francis added to the calendar, the Feast of Mary, the Mother of the Church. Remember, it was Jesus who made Mary the Mother of the Church. At the crucifixion, Mary and the Apostle John were standing at the cross. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. John, the beloved disciple, represents all disciples, all the members of the church. And Jesus says to you and me today, Behold your mother. The same Mother Mary shows us the same love and care she gave her son Jesus when she wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in the manger. Mary teaches us, just as she did the servers at the wedding in Cana, she said to do whatever Jesus tells you. And it was for that same reason that she, no doubt, was given a place of honor in that upper room, united in prayer, encouraging those disciples and apostles to await the coming of the Holy Spirit the same Holy Spirit who came upon her at the Annunciation. What a blessing we have in Mary, our mother. Now, it's true that no matter your age, you will always need your mom, and we will always need Mary, and we can always count on her. As we say in the Memorare Prayer, Remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Mothers are the most loving and the most fiercely loyal to their children, so we can always count on our Mother Mary. And Mary prays for us now and all throughout our lives, and even unto the hour of our death. May Almighty God bless you and keep you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a Merry Monday.